Oh, oh man. What a good little snooze. Shoot, it looks like it's still dark out. Yeah, I wonder what Eric's up to. Let's uh let's go see Eric. Eric, where are you, bud? Eric. Eric I oh, what's this? Update 1.14 out meow. See Eric for details. Eric? Are you here, Eric? No? Okay, well let's go uh let's go look for Eric then. Um shoot, I wish it wasn't so dark out, but uh well, what's this now? This way to see Eric. Huh. Okay, well, now let's go, uh, let's go find Eric, shall we? Oh, what's this? Shoot, we got another sign. Up the mountain, it will be a blast. Huh, well, that sounds like fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's go find Eric. Oh, here we go. Eric awaits. Go forward. Well, I guess that means we're going this way. Eric! Eric, where are you, bud? Eric! Ah, oh, here's another sign. Almost there. Keep going. Quickly meow. Ah, a little arrow pointing this way. Okay, we must be getting close. We're coming, buddy. Hang in there, Eric. This looks like the place. Eric, you down here? What does this say? Come in to see 1.14. Okay, that's uh, nice. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is a creepy little room. What do we got going here? Read this. This is important. Keep reading so that way you're distracted. Huh, I wonder what that means. What the? What was that? Oh no, we're, we're trapped in here. These doors won't open. Eric, what are you doing here, buddy? What's going on? You want to get revenge on me? But why? I thought we got past all of this. Come on now, man. Let's let's not do this. This is, this is a funny joke, but seriously, let's, uh, let's stop this now, please. What the? Oh God, Eric, no, why? Well, hello there, my friends. It is Papa Cheddar here with Eric. We're bringing you another vintage story video from our private server. So as you just saw, we are now in update 1.14. And if you look at my guy here, we got some fancy new duds. So check this out really quick here. So if you look here, um, where'd it go? Ah, yes, Papa Cheddar the Clockmaker. So we now have our classes. You can now do classes in this game. There's a few of them. You got the Commoner, Hunter, Malefactor, Clockmaker, and, uh, oh, what's the other one? He's like a fighting one, like a warrior kind of thing. His name eludes me right now. Um, but yes, so each class comes with its own varying uh, perks and... Uh, debuffs, I guess you could say. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely something cool to check out there. We got a whole load of other stuff, too. So right here, look at these bad boys. These are mold racks. So, you know, I can uh, pop my axe mold out there if I need to use it, pop it back in. It's easy cheesy like that, so that's pretty stinking neat. We got all kinds of new blocks going on in this. We can now make cheese, too, so when you find some sheep and goats, uh, I think they're sheep, but you can actually milk those sheep, and you can go through a whole crafting process to make cheese. Well, it's a long, drawn-out process. We'll hope to get into that. Uh, I, I have been trying to trap some animals here. So you can see I got me two piggies. I got one rooster over there, and I still don't have any sheep. But I did find some over in the mountains there. I just have not been able to get them back home. Um, also got to find some male boars and some female chickens. So we got our animal husbandry well underway, though. So hopefully we can get those uh, those sheep down here and we can actually start the cheese process. I've done a few things to the base. I added this little charcoal pit area here, which I think is pretty cool. So check this out. See, so you come down here, just smack away at this, and boom, there's our uh, our charcoal. And, you know, nice and easy. I, uh, I just wanted to kind of do it to make it look good. Uh, well, back to 1.14. So there's one other thing we can do now. Uh, well, there's actually a lot we can do. You can make steel. Um, you can shoot, do all kinds of stuff, new autom automization things. But we're going to look at one thing really quick. So scrap weapon kit. We need rope, stick, and metal scraps. So we do have metal scraps. So let's try making some of these really quick. Oh, and look at that. Look at the new box animation. Ah, put things in me. Ha ha ha! First we're gonna need to make ourselves some rope. So let's get our cattails out 
And you just throw them in uh, this pattern here. I believe it takes two each. I already have a little bit of rope there. Boom. And we're going to need some sticks. So we take our sticks here. We take our rope there. And we take our scrap metal there. Let's just make, uh, let's make three of them. Let's see what happens. Boom and boom. Okay. So scrap weapon kit. Now what do we do? Oh, right clicked. We're doing something. Something's happening. Hey, what do we get? A scrap axe. Nice tool tier two. You know, let's uh let's compare that with a uh with a copper axe real quick. There we go. All right, so copper axe tier two. Uh, wood speed times five. Plant two point eight. And leaves 2.4, where the scrap is four times wood, 2.6 plant, and 2.2 leaves. It has less attack power, same range, less durability. So it's comparable. It seems to be like another little mid tier. But let's make another one. Let's see if we get an axe again. Oh, we got a scrap mace. What? So attack power minus two, and the copper blade is minus three. But still, that's cool. It's another little weapon type. Let's see what we get for the third one. A scrap long blade, ooh, that's minus two and a half HPs, uh, two and a half uh, range, similar to the copper long blade. Sweet, and look at that, that looks pretty darn cool. Almost like that better. Oh, can't see that, there we go, look at that. Nice, we got ourselves some brand new scrap stuff. That's sick, dang, I really like that. But yes, guys, I have been busy here at the old HQ 0 0.259. Uh, we got our animals going on. We expanded our trench. So pretty much I've been using this trench to trap the animals, and then we use a series of gates here, see? So that way we can kind of uh, trap them in. So we'll bring them, you know, we bring them through here, and then if it's chickens, open this up, get them stuck in the middle pen there, then open up those other ones, so that way no other animals can escape. So yeah, it's coming right along. We got this. And then if you guys remember our translocator we found, I made a nice snazzy little bridge. Well, it's not that snazzy, but you know what? It's all right. It's not bad. And then we got uh, going all the way down to the translocator. Another cool thing about the clockmaker, one of his perks is you need one less uh, gear. I believe it's one less temporal gear to repair the translocators. So that's pretty darn cool. Uh, it's going to help us out here. I also terraform this, and we got our bees going on, which I still, I need to go and collect that other skep, and we'll bring it back here. And uh, if you have one populated skep, pop it down in here, and they, those bees will surge out just like they did from the tree to these other skeps I got lined up. So, you know, we got, we got some good amount of flowers here. We should also go and put some flowers on the outside of this as well. So that way the bees have plenty of plenty of food. One thing you guys may be tempted to do with uh, your little apiaries is by using logs. That's not recommended because raccoons do spawn on logs randomly, I believe. So if you have logs where your skep is on top of them, it might spawn a raccoon, and raccoons love to eat honey from bees. All right, let's go uh, run out and get our populated skep. All righty, guys, here we go. Populated skep, and boom. All right, so we got our bees going on now. So we got plenty of flowers. Like I said before, we'll need to go put some more down. And another thing, you are going to want some dummies when you go to break the skeps because there's a chance of making those bees real stinking mad. They'll be, uh, they'll be huffing and buzzing all around you and whatnot. So if you place a dummy down, then you run towards the dummy, chasing with the bees. The bees will attack the dummy, and they'll leave you safe and sound. So now we're just going to let these guys be, kind of do their thing. Yeah, we'll let them be. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I'm sorry. And uh, one more little thing we did was we added eyes to the Eric, uh, Eric statue there of the greenhouse. But the greenhouse is going very well, as you can see. So it just took a little while for it to populate. Um, but even, even the berry bushes get a bonus from it. You see that? Plus 5 degrees Celsius from greenhouse. So not bad, not bad. Oh, we're almost growing up on a lot of stuff here. We're looking pretty, I think. We're looking pretty on that. Oh, no, I got to eat some food here. We're about to... We're starving. I'm starving, Eric. I'm stinking starving. Let me show you guys what I was doing with these uh, these sheep up here. Yeah, so I have absolutely no idea, really, how to lure animals. I know you can kind of place troughs down and make them leapfrog, maybe. But uh, I just... I found these sheep up here near my base. So I just decided to build a little wall around them, trap them in. 
and I'm either going to build a path that goes down to the uh, to the animal pens, maybe go punch these guys, you know, tick them off a little bit, have them chase me, and then I'll you know be ready with a little escape ladder. You can see our uh, our pens not too far from here. Either that, or I'll just make this their home because we are so close to base. I could just you know breed these guys up here, maybe make this look a little bit better. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not too sure yet. All right, guys, now let's get to the meat of the episode. So with this new update and the, we can make steel now, uh, you can make coke ovens, you can make all kinds of brand new tools and stuff. So we need to get going. We're still in the copper age. We really got to find some tin, make some bronze, you know, some bismuth maybe. Just we got to upgrade to the next tier of metal. So we're going to prepare for an adventure and we're going to set out with clock maker Papacetta and go find us some brand new metal. Ooh, there's one more thing about these clothes. Let me show you. Ah, uh, let's go. Hiya. Alrighty, so if you look here at these clothes, it has a condition now, and uh, it also gives you a bonus to your temperature, which you can see right here, body temperature. Right now I'm at 37.7 degrees centigrade Celsius, which is, uh, I feel like that's pretty dang hot. I don't know. <laughs> like I keep saying, I'm a Fahrenheit kind of cat. But it also gives the clothes a percentage of their wear. So these two I repaired, so they're in good condition. We got heavily worn, heavily worn, tattered tattered so to do to repair this what you're gonna need is a piece of linen so you just take your linen over here to your clothes and drop it on look at that it just repaired the clockmaker shirt which increased the uh the amount of thermal protection i guess it gives us and you can see here it also shows the maximum warmth that they'll give you so for my shoes here i'm a uh, negative 0.2 degrees from what they're helping me with so these other ones aren't too bad you know they're uh we can, we can make do with what we got on that. But shoot, I just love this update so much already. <laughs> but if you guys are playing on a multiplayer server, like I am with the Aura Fury server, uh, you know, your entire server will need to upgrade before you actually are able to, you know, before you can actually play with it. So if you upgrade your private server, you're not going to be able to play on your multiplayer server if they're still on the 1.13.4. So uh, that's definitely something to keep in mind. There is a workaround around it. I had to do that today. Um, but yeah, you essentially just have two versions of the game. It's not too hard to do. Um, if you guys have questions about it, let me know in the comments and I can talk you through it. I don't mind doing that at all. Um, okay, yeah, let's uh, let's adventure. See, we have a bunch of copper. We got to go out and get some tin and some bronze and stuff. So I'm going to get ready. I'll see you guys once we're there. All right, I think we're just about ready to go. Let's go see if we can't find ourselves a little bit of tin. All right, guys. So this is a little uh, cave entrance I've been wanting to explore for a while, meow. Um, I did find some copper here not too long ago, but it was uh, it went a lot deeper. So we're going to see if we can't uh, can't figure this out and see uh, if it will get us somewhere. This one goes stinking deep, though. Oh, we go oh God. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Ooh, but we gotta see this is why uh, you gotta prepare when you're doing these kind of things. You gotta prepare. Let's see. Oh, no, not that way. There we go. And easy now. Easy does it. And just like that, that's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. So let's, uh, oh, is that flint here? Oh, shoot. Look at that. We got some zinc. We got some zinc, baby. Oh, yeah. Although I don't think zinc is, uh, I think with zinc we need bismuth or something too to to make it actually worth a dang. Well, let's just look, shall we? Let's look. Uh, there we go. So zinc goes into these nuggies, goes into these bars. And yeah, so we can only make plates with the zinc, which uh, I guess, oh, Archimedes screw. Yeah, that's right. This is new in 1.14 also. The Archimedes screw. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's like a chute system that can move things up instead of just dropping down. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's used for bismuth and brass also. Oh, no, not brass. Uh, but bismuth is the stuff that's worth a dang. Brass isn't worth nothing. That just makes lanterns and the uh, the screws and stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's clear this out. We might as well take it with us anyway. Maybe we'll get some bismuth in tonight or whatever the stink it's called. Alrighty, I think we just got about every uh, bit of zinc we could. Well, yeah, I mean, that's everything. Look, I checked. I checked everywhere, all right? God, I don't even really want to talk to you right now, man, after that little stunt you just pulled. Jeez. 
All right, fine. We're even. We're even now. Okay, well, you know what, bud? Let's, uh, let's keep going, shall we? Here we go down into the creepy darkness. You know, I brought all these torches. And I haven't even been using them. <laughs> Shoot, let's, uh, let's start slapping the... Slapping these down. Oh, is that olivine and a drifter down there? Okay, okay, not too bad. So, why'd I put it there? There we go, let's put this down. Hya, and hya, and let's go get this guy, huh? Come here, bud. Oh, two of ya. Come on. Hiya. Can't beat the clockmaker. Oh. oh, maybe we should have tried to bring our noose. Ow! God, our scrap weapons. Yeah, I think the clockmaker does take more damage or does less uh less melee damage. But that's alright, you know, we make do. Oh, we got another one. Oh, this guy's fast. Hey. Ah, jeez. Gotta heal up. This is not good. Maybe I should have chose that battle class, whatever it was. Well, this one here kind of caught us by surprise. Jeez. Look at all these stinking guys. That's it. Come here, you scrubs. Got one. Come here, bud. Got two. Nice. Oh, there's another. Haha, -ha, can't hit me when I'm jumping. That's right, fall to your doom. God, these guys are a real pain. They just keep coming. Not even getting anything good. We're not even getting flax from these guys. Hiya! Got him. Got another one. Just leave me alone, okay? I just want I just want new metal. Ow! Gotta heal up again. I just can't stand here all day fighting these guys. Just got some flax. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's keep it moving, shall we? Let's light this joint up. Maybe this will detour these stinkers. I'm not really sure how that works. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Ooh, 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 tin. We got tin. Look at that, zinc and tin all in one. Let's just go ahead and block this off, shall we? I don't want any more visitors. Tin, oh my God, guys. This, uh, I think this is what we need to bring us into the next age. Look at that. Let's uh, take a peek. Boop. Yep, so ca caseterite. Caseterite goes into tin ingots. It's an alloy for tin bronze. Yes, which is what we need. Look at all these beautiful, shiny, tin bronze-looking tools we can get. Ah, oh, I love this. Eric, where's Eric? Come here, bud. Eric, we did it. High five. We're into the next age. Woohoo! And if you guys remember, we, uh, we do have the, where is it? We have the iron ore node right there, right near our translocator and stuff. So as soon as we get this, we'll be able to go down, pick up some of that iron, and uh, we can pretty much just go two ages all in one getup. Let's go ahead and smack out the rest of this stuff, and we'll uh, we'll get. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, this will be a good chance for us to try out our uh, prospecting pick. So it has two modes. It has the density search and the node search mode. So node search is short range exact search. So that's kind of more for your uh, your general area, like what's in your immediate vicinity. So if we're on that mode and we smack this here rock, it'll tell us Cassiterite verified amounts, and we can see here we are next to Cassiterite. So then the uh, the density search mode, and this, um, if you guys remember in my very first video when we created the world, I showed you that one setting that I said was very important. If you guys haven't seen it, I recommend going back to the uh, to watching that. We changed one setting in the world creation mode, which will allow you to use this node search mode. So go back, watch that first video. I'll put a I'll put maybe a little icon in the top or a link in the bottom uh, description, and that's uh, how you need to activate this search mode. If you haven't done that, you'll have the density search mode, which means you take three samples, and it will give you a much wider area, but it won't be an exact thing. So or an exact. Uh, 
location pretty much. So we, we need three samples. So one, and then I believe we can go, we need to go at least three blocks away for a total of 16 blocks away. Take a second sample, move three more blocks away and take our third sample. And if you did it wrong, it'll tell you that you need another sample. So uh, look at that, we got um, poor hematite. So it's a 1.7% chance that is there. We got poor cinnabar, sphalerite, emerald, and then minuscule amounts of cassiterite. So since the cassiterite doesn't have a percentage, I wonder if that means that we, you know, if we didn't know this was here, it would be like, oh, we know it's definitely close to us. And that's when we would go to the node search mode and kind of track our way there. So uh, uh, in the node search mode, the first one, when we smacked the block right here, it said verified medium amounts. If we go a little bit farther away, it'll kind of tell you exactly how close you are to it. It'll be like trace amounts. Uh, so yeah, I see verified trace amounts. Whereas over here, it was verified, uh, what was it? Verified uh, medium amounts. So there we go, you know, not too bad. It'll kind of, you can walk your way in, go from trace to small to medium kind of thing and just kind of zero in on its location. So uh, me and Eric are gonna get back to smacking this stuff out and uh, we'll see you guys when we're done. All right, guys, not too bad. We got 49 chunks of the tin and 46 chunks of the zinc. And uh, see, so 10 units of these, 10 and 25 of the zinc. So we got a pretty solid little haul here, I think. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, me too. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead, get back to base there and uh, well, you know, let's try our prospecting pick one more time. See what happens. No ore nearby. All right, it works. Verified. Okay, let's get out of here, bud. Now, we'll need to come back to this cave system. It just keeps going. I don't want to do that right now, though, because I want to... Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there are two of you, huh? Oh, just surface drifters. Come on, get back. Get back, you foul beast. Oh, 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 bringing in the big guns, huh, Bubba? Ah, that's right, down you go. God, stinking drifters, man. I swear they're coming out in force right now. It's like they don't want me to advance to the next age. They're conspiring against me. Let's get this guy and let's get out of here. And you guys remember my trap? So look at this. We got uh, we got two boars trapped in here. So that we need to, we need to get these guys going off onto the pasture as well because we have the two, uh, two sows, I think they're called. So we're a lot farther away from our base right here, but with enough dirt, anything is possible. So yeah, I definitely recommend you guys make these traps because even if we didn't want these guys for mating purposes and stuff, ah, hey, uh, we could uh, you know come back here and keep slaying them for their food. That's it, I'm, I'm done with this, let's go. I wanna be safe. Oh, look at that, yeah, that's right. So torches extinguish now once they're in the water. That's right. So uh, here, if you guys missed that, now we'll get rid of this. Oh, I think we can reignite that. So let's, uh, ready? Darkness, aha! Oh, oh, that just extinguished all of my torches. Ah, geez, now what a rookie Earl Papa is. Thank God we're back at our base here. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, we can just throw these back into the, uh, back into the fireplace and uh, reignite them. Well, we'll just do that now. Oh, but I don't have anything to light it with. Oh, cruel world. Where is our random stuff? Stuff, stuff? Nope. Craft stuff? Nope. Uh, too many boxes. Miscellaneous tools. There it is. There's our fire starter. And look, you guys, my uh, my chests are all different now because of the kind of wood that we uh, used, I believe. Um, unless it's just the lighting. Do those chests look different to you guys? I think they look different. All right, let's, uh, let's start this bad boy up and get these torches cooking again. This is why we still have the fire starter. There we go. There we go. Miscellaneous tools. Boom. Okay, so let's make ourselves some cast right here. Eric's gonna, he's gonna help us with this. High five. Yay. Okay, so let's see. Hammer. Actually, I'm gonna get organized really quick. Okay, we're ready. So let's drop our hammer in. Let's get all this stuff smacked out. All right, so I don't think we can do anything with the uh, the zinc here because we need that for, um, no, not brass. Yeah, we need uh, bismuth for that stuff. So we're going to be working with our uh, tin here, our cassiterite and uh, tin bronze. So we need 8 to 12 percent of this tin bronze and 88 to 92 percent of the copper. So uh, 
What was that? Eight and eight of these and 92 of these. I think we can do that. All right, so we didn't actually have enough uh, nuggets, enough copper nuggets. If you look here, we got 68 copper nuggets uh, left. Um, but we are able to throw in a copper ingot and some cassiterite nuggets to make uh, to make extras. So we're just gonna we're gonna throw a few more ingots in there. I think that's really stinking cool, by the way. You can just throw ingots in with your uh, your other nuggies. Looks like two of these. Oh, oh, here we go. No. Six hundred units of copper. 655 units of 10, 12, 13. So 680 units. Let's see. Well, let's, uh, here, we're going to do one more of those and feed in a couple nuggets. See if we can't get, uh, well, 700's not bad. We'll do, uh, we'll do 700. That's fine. Let's, uh, get our molds out here. So what are we going to want? We're going to want a... Hammer, of course, a pickaxe. I thought I had a sword mold. I thought I had a sword mold. And uh, what did I get? Hammer and pickaxe? Okay. Maybe we can throw the rest into our anvil. We're going to need a new anvil. Where did I... There it is. There we go. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll throw the rest into the anvil. Well, shoot, if we're going to do that, we might as well just load this bad boy up, don't you think? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We're just putting it one piece at a time. There's 900, so we want to get to 1,100. Is that all we got? Come on now. Maybe we can add a little bit more, even out this ratio. No? Okay, we're going to grab one more ingot, and we'll, uh, we'll do it that way. Okay. 1135 units of tin bronze with seven copper ingots, 19 cassiterite nuggets, and 68 copper nuggets. That's a royal pain in the yang, huh? <laughs> but I'm really glad we can use ingots together with this stuff. So let's uh, get one of our new torches. Uh, so I'll actually take that out too. We'll light this bad boy up. There we go, and we're actually going to put the peat in here first and let this warm up to about 900 degrees. So we're kind of like priming our fire, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm going to go dig up some of our charcoal in the meantime because we are severely lacking in the charcoal department. Oh, and we can place charcoal now. I'll show you guys that here once we get back inside. Ooh. Hey, get out of here. I'm trying to work. I need to put a door on this. I feel like we're having a lot more drifter spawns today. I don't know. I'm not a fan, though. Stop it! I'm about to die. Jeez. There we go. Screw these guys. just want to harvest this and smelt stuff. God. That's so much to ask for. And yeah, shoot, this also has a new sound animation, if you guys hear that. Neat. Okay, I think that's enough uh, enough charcoal for now. It is about day. Ah, oh, get out of here. Ho, oh, hey, ho. Oh. All right, get inside. Come on. It's dangerous out here. God, Eric, you wouldn't believe what I just went through. This place is crazy, man. All right, here we go. So we're up to 900 degrees. We're going to take our charcoal. And, uh, you know, I'm actually going to show you guys the stacking of the charcoal. Oops, look at that. So let's, uh, yeah, our here's good. So same, same aspect, you know, same way you do it. Oh. Ow. Okay, so apparently you can only go that high until it starts overflowing onto the other sides and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, you can pick it back up just the same. But the only thing is it does uh, catch on fire. What? Nope. Hang on. Okay, I can do this. It does catch on fire. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this inside. Look at that. So keep it away from fire sources, I guess. Um, can I pick that up? Nope, can't pick it up. So we just have... Well, I'll just let that cook off then, I guess. Jeez, shouldn't have done that. Um, I need to heal. Good lord, where's my plant stuff? I wonder if this is going to hurt us. Oh, oh god, yeah it does. Yeah it does. Oh, we're on fire. Oh, we're on fire. We're on fire. Look at that. Oh, this was a bad idea. I know. Let's uh, 
Run to the wild. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Actually, let's do that. Hang on. I want to try something stupid. We're on fire. Oh, no. Run. Da 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 da. Ah. Oh, safe. And look at this swimming. That's nice. I wonder if our body temperature goes down. Oh, we are soaking wet. So there is definitely some new mechanics that I need to look into. God, there are just drifters everywhere. What is going on? I feel like maybe the bigger a base you get, then the more uh, more drifters start poking at you or something. Or maybe with this update, they increase the uh, increase it. Let's break this. There we go. Get that out of here. And we are not quite there. We're still smelting down. I'm gonna heal up a bit more. Go get a bit of food, and uh, hopefully this will be will be done by the time we get back. Oh, what do you think of the update so far, Eric? Yeah, I think it's pretty neat too. There's a lot of new things we can do. Shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This tin bronze sure is taking a long time to cook down. I wonder if it's because we're cooking down ingots as well as nuggets. Maybe that takes a lot longer when you're cooking down ingots. I don't know. We'll, uh, I'll just say that's correct. <laughs> oh, we're so close. Yes, we're so stinking close. Come on, cook. Come on, cook. Give me my ore now. I can hit Eric from here. Look at that. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, bud. Nowhere is safe. That's what you get for blowing me up. Sheesh. Oh, come on. Doobie doo 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 doo. 1300 degrees Celsius. Here we go. All right. So let's uh, let's give these some good solid pours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that tin bronze. Oh, this is the best one. Oh, it's so steamy. Oh, God, it's so steamy. I can't even... Oh, it's so steamy. Look at this. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Get it in there. Ooh, yeah, baby. What do we got? We got uh, 35 units left. Now, let's just go ahead and throw that into a, uh, into a little one of these guys. What is it called? An ingot mold? Yeah. Let's just pour that on top. So we have 35 units in there. We can uh, come back and put more on top of that at a later time whenever we're, uh, oops, whenever we're, uh, you know, we have more tin bronze melted down a little extra. We can just pile it back on top. Even for the anvil, let's say you only have 500 units. You can pour 500 units into there, come back later, and pour the other 400 units. Pretty neat, huh? Pretty neat, Eric. All right, look at that. These bees will swarm in less than a day. And they'll go ahead and swarm to one of these other skeps. And that skep will swarm to another and so on and so forth. And we can just kind of keep our honey and uh, beeswax population moving. But guys, that'll do it for me and Eric here. So uh, thank you all for joining us. I hope you enjoyed your time here today. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we just got in the Bronze Age, baby. Woohoo! I shouldn't, I should not hit right now because I might destroy that skep right in front of me. Oh God, we'll, uh, we'll just go like this. Oh, I just picked up a skep. I was like, how did that happen? Jeez. Can I put that? Oh, I'll deal with this in a minute. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Yeah, we did get the bronze. We're going to go get into the Iron Age next. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to show you guys a lot more of the new features from 1.14 uh, here. And uh, I will be still making videos on my Aura Fury server, the multiplayer one. But that is still in 1.13.4. I believe they're planning on updating it as soon as the mods that we use on the server get updated to match the 1.14 release. So as soon as that happens, guys, we'll be we'll be back to making some uh, some 1.14 videos on the Aura Fury server, which is really exciting. I've been uh, working on that server a lot lately, trying to make a better you know, a better dirt hut. You know, call it a base. You know, it's made out of dirt, but it's fancy. You know, it's home. It's home. It's casual. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, again, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. If you enjoyed today's episode, think about subscribing to the channel leaving a like, slapping a fancy dancy little comment down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, I love you. Bye. All right, I got to put this back. Boop. There we go. Sorry, bees. All right, come on, Eric. Let's get out of here. We got work to do.